I keep saying it because I'm it's just I can feel it in my spirit. God is gonna do something miraculous in this season. Woo! Tell y'all something. Tell y'all something. So we talked about the church today. I'm driving y'all, but it's not going. It's just something I need to look at. But we talked about faith today in, in service today. We talked about faith. And we're all guilty of it. People can say they're not. I, I'm but say, I'm gonna say first and foremost that I'm guilty of it. Sometimes we let the words and the worries of the world wave our faith. When you can't have faith and weary. So if you're weary, you don't have no faith. And when you have faith, you're not weary. It don't mean you're not going to think about it. It just means you're not worried about it because you know that God's got it. Y'all, I felt such an increase in my faith today because the same things that I have been saying since the beginning of my son's disappearance. I see him coming to pass. I see God moving. I know. I knew it. I kept saying, God is going to do it. God is going to do it. God is going to do it. He's doing it. I know it. I just know he's doing it. His word has not changed since the beginning of time. God does not have a reason to lie to me, you, nobody else we want God to bless us but we must be willing to do what is according to his word we have to be willing to live by his word now let me tell y'all we've been having some rough days I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat because y'all know I'm pretty raw cut I'm not gonna sugarcoat coat I've been having some rough days I have I've been having some rough days um Anyways, I've been having some rough days lately. Where we is, we riding up on the second Thanksgiving without my child. And I started feeling like, oh, thank you, God. I started feeling like, oh, God, it's awesome. This is not my turn. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I had started feeling like, which was confirmed to me today. I sort of feel like nothing is happening to them. They seem like they are just fine. Don't seem like they're bothered by anything that they've done. I always kept in my heart, and I always will, that vengeance is not mine. That's why I don't get on here. Sorry, y'all. I don't bash these people because I know there's something wrong with their spirit. There's something wrong with their soul. There's something not right with their hearts in order for them to feel like what they've done is okay. And that's why I continue to pray conviction over them. But I'm telling y'all, this is the thing. God is going to move some things out of the way and move some into place. And I'm going to be able to say, God did it. It's done. Because I know. I'm not, I know for sure. I know that he's going to do it. Every hand and every, he's going to do it. I've said it since the beginning. God is going to do it. But truly, I told y'all, my faith went like this for a while because I started, I started, I started letting the devil get into my head and say, oh baby, he not going to do it. It's been 400 and something days. You still waiting on him? Yes, and I am. You have to be patient. When we wait, when we stand still and we wait on God, we have to be patient sometimes and that's what gets a lot of us because you know, we're a generation nowadays where we like that microwave effect. And I'm going to wait as long as God sees fit for me to wait. It's 
sorry guys because I want the truth to come out I want my baby home I don't want these people to be able to do this for nobody else's family to ever feel this type of pain because it, it's, 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 it's it's excruciating guys I'm not going to lie when I watch videos of my son of course I try to hold on sorry I try to hold on to our memories I try to hold on soon the last time that I saw actually physically saw my baby hold on to it and I thank God for his confirmation because what God does no man can overturn no man can overturn. You can try to stir the pot. It's not going to work. So, you know what? For the prayer warriors, I stand up first to say anybody who has any doubt in their heart, anybody who is going through a storm which feels like it is the worst thing that could have possibly ever happened to you in your life, Hold your head up. We praying for you. We are. When I pray, I say, Lord, this is for everybody who has something going on, but they don't know what to say. And when you don't know what to say to God, just simply say, I need you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I have thanked him in advance for so many things that are slowly coming to pass. And it gives me excitement because people don't believe. They don't believe in miracles anymore. I believe that miracles still take place. I believe that people can come from their dirtiest, nastiest, oh my God, most disgusting part of their life and become warriors for God. I believe that. The only way that you stay in a, stay down in a situation is because you want to. When you don't want to take the initiative to change then you'll stay in this situation because you don't want to change you you want to stay right where you're at but if you even have just a small amount of you i mean god said you only need a mustard seed of faith so if you have a mustard seed of that type of feeling that you want to change that you want to live for God, that you want to turn your life around, that you want to be a person to, you want to be able to witness. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm on this cold. I turn this up. That you want to be able to witness. I am a living witness. The devil tried to take me out many years ago. Y'all don't. <laughs> and you let me tell y'all, we have to be real with people because you can't just let people think when you get saved, when you get your, when you start living for the Lord, that everything just gonna be sugars sugar bars and cooking cream ice cream because it's not oh baby oh yeah i'm getting chills that is when satan attacks you the most he says oh they trying to live for the lord oh they gonna live for the lord well let me see what i can do to stir up some habit we have to learn who we attacking you have to know who's attacking you God ain't gonna never attack you. So you automatic, automatically ought to know in your mind that this ain't nothing but the devil. You attack that, you attack Satan with everything inside of you. And if God is inside of you, you already have more than enough that you got everything. Y'all, I'm so full of joy right now, even with tears rolling down my face. I know my son is watching me. Said, Mama, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> it's my only son, y'all. But of course, along the way, I've adopted a few too. But I'm thankful. Y'all, great things are gonna happen. Keep your head up, keep your chest out, keep your word in your honey. Keep it open. Keep your eyes in it. Keep your heart set on God great things are going to happen.
in your life but you got to be able to receive it you got to be able to move some people and stuff out of the way in order to get what it is that you know god has for you god so, mm, oh y'all sometimes god don't give you the things that he have for you because they're not for everybody they're not meant to be shared with everybody sometimes god don't open doors at that moment because they're not meant to be open in front of certain people Ooh, I love being in here hidden in God. I know when I need rest, he gonna say, come lay down, baby girl, I got you. I know. Oh, y'all, I'm getting excited. I better get out for her. I'll be in her 30 minutes. But just know this. Nobody is ever gonna change my mind about what it is God has in store for me and my family. You have to be able to declare and decree that what God has for you and your family is for you and your family. We must be willing to pray for others. We must be willing to put ourselves out there on the behalf of others. Are you willing to step into the lines then in order to save us a lost soul? Are you willing? You know, my pastor just talked about this. Are you willing to leave the 99 sheep and go get the one? Some people be like, oh, well, that's only one. I still got 99, but God told you he need a hunter. Are you willing to do it? Are you really willing to do it? So many things I think about, guys, since my, my oh, my handsome baby. I, don't, I can't even explain the pain that I feel some days. But I know. God is moving. That's the reason why I can still smile. People just, oh my God, I can't release you. What you want me to do? Go up under the rock? No. I'm going to keep serving God. I'm going to keep holding on to my son. I'm going to keep on uh, taking care of my family. And if people already know me, I have days where I do things I'm not proud of. I repent quickly because I don't want to be caught by when I don't want the Lord to come and then I'd be like, oh crap. I want to be able to say, whew, I made it, Lord. I want to say, well done, Levance. We all have to examine ourselves. What do you truly want for yourself? When you look in the mirror in the morning, do you see, oh, well, I'm perfect. Oh, I don't got nothing to work on. Or do you actually see your own flaws? When I look at myself every day, I see my own flaws. And every day, all I do, pray, repent, and move on forward. You have to be able to willing to turn too, guys. If you're not willing to turn away from things that are making you act the way that you act and it's not godly, if you're not willing to turn away from them, then that means you're not ready to change. And the way that life is going nowadays, fastest people are leaving this earth God it's just it's time to get it together I'm so oh I wasn't even oh I'm, I'm sorry I'm so excited I wasn't even gonna go to church today I was just gonna listen uh, do church over online and God said nope go and I said I'm going I'm so glad I went my heart feels so light God I can't <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go because I gotta get some stuff done, shopping done and stuff for um, next week. But um, I thank y'all. Y'all have a happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is every single day, guys. If you're watching this video, you should be saying thank you, God, because you know, y'all are, <laughs> we're amongst the living, guys. Like, we're doing it. We have to remember God is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord. He's our savior. He died for us. Are you willing to die for somebody? Are you willing to die for people you don't even know? People you know they're gonna continue to do wrong. Are you willing to do that? I love y'all. Peace. Have a good Thanksgiving. Bye guys. <laughs>